I'm very excited today to be joined by Welsh Rugby Union players and D-Max drivers, Alan Wynne-Jones and Josh Navidi. They're about to battle it out in the Isuzu Big Toe Challenge. Are you feeling nervous, guys? Yeah, just a little bit. You've got a few things set up, but um, it should be a good laugh. I'll say no, but I'm lying, so... <laughs> So, as ambassadors, we know that you both drive an Isuzu D-Max Blade, but have either of you ever actually used the trucks for towing before? Alan Wynn? Uh, no, haven't used it for towing, so it'll be interesting to see how we go. Use the tub and obviously getting from A to B, so uh, it'll be interesting to see if I can learn something today. <laughs> Josh? Yes, yeah, same as Al. Um, I haven't used it for towing, but I've done some towing in the past. So, two complete novices. You've, you've done a little bit. Yeah, a little right. bit of towing, but nothing. This is going to be interesting. So. Alan Wynn, what do you like best about your blade? I think it's the versatility. Uh, obviously, the, the cab is pretty um, stacked with, with add-ons, but I think having uh, a couple of kids going to the beach, the park, um, all the, the paraphernalia you take with you obviously helps to keep it separate from uh, the cab area. Um, and obviously day to day, whether they're having dirty training kit and boots and whatever equipment I may, may need to keep that in the back, um, it just makes it really easy to get from A to B. And Josh, what is it about your blade that you couldn't live without? Yeah, just the sound system and the mod cons. I'm, I'm big into my uh, music, so um, I've always got it blasting. And also the, the tub in the back is handy for me with my surfboards. I can just throw them in the back with my wetsuit and obviously my rugby kit as well. Amazing. So we're currently in beautiful South Wales. I'm sure you do a bit of surfing in and around here. So where have you been getting out and about to since lockdown restrictions have lifted? Uh, well, obviously, as I said, uh, the beach uh, and the park with the, with the girls um, and, and training really has probably been the, the sole focus, uh, uh, well, the sole location that's been the popular one, getting out and about uh, and taking what feels like a lot of equipment now because of the, the setup and restrictions we have, I feel I have to take a bit more with training and you know, it's probably been a godsend to have a vehicle that can take all, all the bits and bobs uh, that I need to take training. And Josh, where do you uh, where do you like to go? Yeah, I've been staying local, um, obviously around local beaches near me for, for the surf and um, just back and forth training. I haven't been too far and uh, re really been staying local. So you've mentioned that you love surfing. Is there anywhere off the beaten track or further afield that you'd recommend for like a staycation? Yeah, I would say down Clan um, you've got the Gower coastline. Is a also got amazing spots for surfing and you can head to a couple of beaches as well. Um, obviously Al's more from that way more so he knows a bit more about there. So where would you tell everyone to go? I'd have to agree with Josh. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm biased because I obviously live relatively close to the Gower coastline. Uh, South Wales we're blessed with beaches and locations uh, and then I suppose Gower is a gateway to the west um, or southwest Wales. Um, so yeah, I am biased towards the Gower, but you know, you can't um, turn your nose at the likes of Saundersfoot, Tenby and you know, the beaches further afield and locations that have a lot to offer. So I think I can tell you're quite ready to get on with today's challenge and you're both, I'm guessing, quite competitive. So if we asked your teammates who would win today, who do you think they'd say? I'm backing myself. Right, yeah. okay. <laughs> right, no pressure then on you. None whatsoever. at all, no. Okay. Right, well, I'd better introduce you to Jason. He's our resident towing expert. Jason, what's involved in today's challenge? We've got a slalom and uh, quite a difficult trailer reverse. So a bit of loading of the trailer and then a return through a slalom to the finish. Uh, sounds interesting. And any top tips that you would offer the guys? Uh, you've got to be accurate, but not too quick. If you rush it when you're reversing, it goes completely disastrous. Right guys, to give you a fighting chance, we're going to start with something that you should be pretty good at already, which is kicking the balls into the back of the trailer. You've got three chances to do this. Once you get the ball into the trailer, you're going to run up to the truck and hitch up the trailer. You're then going to jump into the D-Max and drive round through the flags, through the tight slalom. When you get to the end of the slalom, you're going to reverse into a very, very, very small parking space. Once you get into the car parking space, we're going to ask you to jump out of the vehicle and load up all of your training gear into the back of the trailer. Once you've done this, you're going to pull away and back through the slalom. Now this is a timed trial, so the winner is going to be the fastest person to make it back through the flags to finish. So Alan Wynn, Josh, it's over to you. Um, we're going to toss a coin, see who goes first. Do you want to call it? Yeah, Tails for Wheels. 
Tails it is. Okay, so do you want to go first or second? I'll give Josh the honour of going first. Oh, look at you. All the pressure's on him. Okay, so Josh, you're up first. Um, Alan Wynn, we're going to give you a walkie-talkie so you can give him moral support or potentially distract him. Totally up to you. Remember, try your best. Three, two, one, go! Lovely! Lovely! Oh, oh! Not like that, Josh. Slower, go the other way. No rush now, take your time. No rush. Handbrake, you left the handbrake up on the trailer. It's down. <laughs> Is oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I thought you did. Come on now, that's not fair. Oh. Well done, though. Safety first. This isn't as tight as it looks, right? It's tighter. I'm all right. Oh, that'll make it look too easy. Here we go now. So you're telling us you've only done a little bit of flipping towing? Lovely. You, you were lined up then. To me. To you. To me. Ooh. How's it feeling? I know you can't talk back to me, but I'm with you. Right? Don't, don't feel the pressure too much. Oh, he's got it, any. Ah, oh, she's in. She's in. Are you sure you're happy right now? You want to square it up a bit more or not? And that's definitely contact there on the left side, there, on the right side, isn't it? That was savage. Are you sure you've got them all now? Because there one fell outside. Are you sure there wasn't another one? <laughs> uh, tight. Watch the trailer. Two hands on the wheel, please. Tight, tight, tight. <laughs> well done, big red really said. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's savage. <laughs> On your marks, get set, go! Oh, spiral. A bit more. That's in the pond. Oh, he's going well. Oh, no. Struggling there. Eh? Going well so far. Can use the accelerator. No, no. Somebody messed with the seat, didn't they? Don't go too narrow now. Thanks, mate. They are quite close to each other. Yeah, brilliant.
Come on! <laughs> It's a big test now, mate. Beep, beep, beep. Where are you off? <laughs> now you meant to go back in the hail bays, mate, not do the course. Got me, got me. Nice, you got that. Okay, you got loads of room left, keep going back, keep going back. <laughs> oh, no. Sure, that's the right way. Oh no, not that close. You're running out of ideas now with his bumper. Here we go now. Oh no, we're struggling. <laughs> Lovely. That's close. Guys, well done. That was nail biting stuff. There was a bit of cheating going on. We heard it over the microphones, but you both did really well. And I don't quite think you'll believe how close these times are. But before that, Jason, do you want to let the guys know how did they do today? Yeah, very impressed actually. Uh, Josh went out first and he was really smooth and pretty quick through the slalom. Uh, got into the reverse box okay, um, but uh, Alan Wynn here did the uh, really good reversing manoeuvre. Uh, I think he only had to go forward once, maybe twice, and considering he, uh, he's a bit more of an amateur at this, uh, I was very impressed with that overall. Well, I've got the times here, so I know you want to know who is going home with this delightful big toe trophy. So, one of the times is 4 minutes and 41 and the winning time is four minutes and 37. So there is four seconds in it. I swear, if it's the handbrake thing, <laughs> you go now. <laughs> um, congratulations to Josh. Oh, oh, thank you. Do you want to get your trophy? Well, don't worry, we have got you a runners up medal, Alan Wynn. Can we do it again? <laughs> <laughs> Even with cheating. I didn't nice. cheat, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. No, it's Lovely. been really, really great. Congratulations, Josh. You were such great sports. We've had a really, really good time. That's it from the Big Toe today. Thank you very much. Yeah.